What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back. So about a week ago we've done a test to the regular iPhone 12, so not this one, and we found out that the phone drops about 25-30% to 30 of its performance when it gets hot, so under heavy load. That's also known as thermal throttling. Well today I have the iPhone 12 Pro Max and I want to do a similar test so we can see if this phone suffers from the same thermal throttling that we had on the iPhone 12. I also have the Samsung Galaxy S20 as a point of reference. So what we are going to do, we are going to run the Antutu benchmark on both devices now that they are nice and cold. After that I'm going to play a game for about an hour on both devices and then we'll run the Antutu benchmark once again so we can see if we um, actually get a drop in performance on either device. And then we'll know if there is thermal throttling happening um, or not. And with that being said, let me turn the camera around and we'll start to that Antutu benchmark. Okay, so I left the phones to cool down for about 15-20 uh, minutes uh, before doing this. And uh, first I want to show you that I don't have any apps running in the background for either device. So nothing uh, on the iPhone or the Samsung Galaxy S20. With this one we have 97% battery and with this one we have uh, 98. So we're gonna run the Antutu benchmark on both. Of course I'm gonna fast forward this so you don't have to wait uh, that long. We'll just skip this ad here quickly. So we're gonna press test again. And I'll see you when this is uh, done. Alright, so the benchmark test is done and of course we get a higher score um, on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. But I was kind of um, expecting that. So unfortunately the iPhone doesn't allow uh, anyone to see the internal temperature. With the Galaxy S20 we are currently at 33 degrees. So um, that one allows us to read the temperature um, of the CPU and stuff. So uh, we're going to exit this. I want to show you the battery life. So we are at 97% on this one and 93% on that one. So we're going to close uh, the Antutu benchmark. And next we're going to open uh, this game. Let's find it here. It's called Genshin Impact. So I'm just going to position the phones in the right... Uh, Wait, so you can actually see them better. And we'll try opening this game uh, in the same time on both devices. To see, of course, which device uh, does uh, better and opens this game faster. I have a feeling that the iPhone will open it faster. That was the case um, when I've done this test to the previous um, iPhone uh, 12. So accept. And let's start the game. I'm in the same spot in the game on both devices. So a bit faster on uh, that iPhone. So what I'm gonna do, I'm basically gonna play for um, about an hour. Currently it's um, 11.43. So we'll play till about 12.43. I'm gonna switch in between phones. I'm also gonna record this and fast forward it so you don't have to watch um, for an hour. And before um, I forget, because I almost forgot about this, I wanna show you the settings on both device. So I have everything set the same at graphic settings here. So high, 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 highest. 60 frames per second on both high, 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 TA and high. So about uh, the same settings on both and uh, apparently they're both overclocked. I just wanted to show you this before um, I actually start uh, playing. I know some of you would uh, wonder what the settings uh, were. And once again, um, it is 11.45 um, right now. So let's start playing with uh, the S20. I'm just going to change the camera to autofocus. So I'm just going to show you how this works when you spin around. So pretty smooth as you can probably see here. Let's uh, run a bit this way. So this is our uh, Samsung Galaxy S20. So super, super smooth. So I'm going to put this down for a bit, we'll do the same um, with the iPhone. So once again, very, very smooth. Um, I think this is actually smoother than uh, the regular iPhone 12. With that one we did have some um, issues, but I'm hoping that since this is a bigger phone and the whole phone basically acts like a bigger um, heatsink, 
we shouldn't have um, issues um, with overheating like we had on the iPhone 12. So um, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing now. I'm going to be playing for um, quite a while. So we'll jump off um, and we'll start with the um, iPhone, I guess. Alright, so I've been playing for about half an hour uh, now I'm gonna say and uh, both phones seem to perform really well, no dropped frames um, on either of them. This is the iPhone 12 Pro Max as you can probably see. We'll run uh, around here for a bit just so you can see how uh, the phone performs. We'll spin around. So a big difference compared to the regular iPhone 12, that one was uh, dropping a lot of frames. Well, that's not the case um, with this one. And I also want to show you how the Samsung Galaxy S20 is doing. Now, uh, the iPhone does feel hotter than the S20. So the back of the S20 is warm, but uh, the back of the 12 Pro Max is actually hot. But um, luckily, none of them um, are uh, dropping any frames. So no decrease in performance uh, so far. So I guess I'm going to keep um, going for another 20 minutes or so. And then... Um, We'll run that Antutu benchmark uh, once again. So you can see how uh, they both uh, perform after playing this game for uh, about an hour basically. So I had uh, a bit of an idea. I'm gonna turn up the brightness on both of these all the way to the maximum. I know that uh, you may not see it that great on the camera, so let me do the same on uh, this one. So brightness. Oh wow, the, the S20 is so much brighter than uh, the iPhone. So we'll keep uh, playing like this, uh, like this since uh, there are the maximum brightness, they will get a bit uh, hotter. So I'm just gonna keep running around. So I'm uh, spinning around just so you can see if uh, the phone drops any frames, but it seems fine uh, so far. But in-game uh, brightness, uh, it does seem much brighter on uh, the S20 compared to this one. It's possible that the iPhone is actually limiting uh, the screen's brightness so it can maintain... Uh, the coolness because of course the brighter the screen uh, the hotter the phone gets so now with this one it almost looks like um, we're starting to drop some frames and the back of it is uh, pretty hot mostly around uh, here in this area closer uh, to the cameras so I guess I'll um, keep doing this for um, another bit and then I'll come back uh, when we're uh, at one hour so we can run that Antutu benchmark. Okay, so now it's about 12.18, so we are about 40 minutes in and the, the biggest thing I've noticed here is how much brighter the screen on the S20 is compared to the screen of the iPhone. So the iPhone is definitely limiting the screen's brightness on that. So if we go here, this is the maximum brightness on uh, the Samsung Galaxy S20 and here that's the maximum brightness um, on the iPhone. So look at this massive difference here. So clearly the iPhone is limiting the brightness um, to cool down because by now both um, devices are getting really, really hot. I'm gonna lower this a bit just so it looks better on the camera because it's just too bright um, otherwise. So I'm gonna keep going for another 10 minutes, but yes, uh, they're both getting pretty hot um, at this point. The iPhone does feel a bit hotter, but as you can probably see here, no skipped frames um, so far. So I guess having the bigger body on the iPhone 12 Pro Max compared to the regular iPhone 12, it does help a lot um, cooling the phone down. So we'll keep uh, playing um, for a bit and I'll come back um, just before that um, Antutu benchmark.
all right so it's been about 55 minutes now or so something like that and um, our brightness issue still continues um, this is the screen on the s20 and this is not the maximum brightness so we are far from the maximum brightness if i leave it that bright you won't be able to actually see the screen on the camera it's that bright and this is um, the screen on the iphone 12 pro max so clearly the iphone is um, lowering the screen brightness so it can maintain um, the coolness now both devices are still doing really good as you can probably see here no skipped frames um, at all it doesn't matter what you do in the game the phone um, that well no it's still okay i think but um, it feels like the S20 is still smoother for this game. Not to mention the screen is so much brighter and uh, the gaming ex experience is better um, since we have such a brighter um, screen. So um, what I think I'm going to do now, I think we played uh, enough. Um, we're probably going to exit the games on both devices. We'll exit on the iPhone as well. Let me set them here. We're going to close that game running in the background on both. And we'll run the Antutu benchmark um, once again. Let me just position the phones. So these are the scores that we um, got previously. So 567, we'll close this ad, and 638. So we're going to test them um, again now and see what happens now that um, they're both um, hot. So I'm going to fast forward and um, I'll be back right after. Alright, and um, we are back. So as you can probably see here, um, a massive drop in uh, the Antutu score on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And this phone actually just got uh, the brightness on its screen back. Up until now, uh, the brightness, and this is not the maximum brightness, uh, but the phone feels that it's hot and it's still um, lowering uh, the brightness. So for extended periods of time, um, I feel that uh, the Samsung Galaxy S20 does better um, for gaming than uh, the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now, this time the iPhone 12 Pro Max did do better than the regular iPhone 12. That one was dropping frames like crazy. So that doesn't happen with this one. But with this one, we do notice uh, that the screen uh, becomes dimmer much, uh, much more than on the regular iPhone 12. So yes, the iPhone 12 Pro Max is better at gaming than the regular iPhone, but when compared to the Samsung Galaxy S20, I feel that there is no comparison. This one stayed with the screen at the maximum brightness the entire um, hour, and uh, it didn't actually drop uh, that Antutu score after um, getting all, um, all that hot. So there you have it. The iPhone 12 Pro Max still lags uh, and doesn't perform that great when gaming. Thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to press that like button and I will see you in the next one.